I don't know if this is gonna work. I had this issue with Alpine. Hey everyone, in today's quick video, I wanted to talk about the Sony XAV-AX6000. I happen to have a client that was really back and forth between the 4000 and the 6000, and the main reason he wanted to go with the 6000 was for the HDMI input. However, he has a Samsung, I believe S21, or it might be an S20, and the so new Sonys have a mini HDMI. So I was trying to figure out what's the best way for us to make this look nice and clean in the car. And in our shop, we always use these HDMI flush mount adapters whenever we're actually installing a head unit with HDMI when the client is using that. And as you can see, it's stri straight HDMI male on one end. So that normally goes right into the back of the head unit. And then a female on the other end, which would then go to your appropriate phone cable adapter. However, I was concerned about how is this going to work because I have to add another adapter to this, right? So I have to go from micro HDMI to here, and then don't forget you need the adapter for the phone too. So I was like, that's a lot of adapters. I don't know if this is going to work right. And when I called Sony, they didn't exactly inspire confidence. They said, it should work with those brand adapters, which I will leave links in the description below, but let's see how well it actually works with both Android and Apple. All right, so this is an S21. The only way I was able to get this to work is I did have to first connect this to the wireless Android Auto on the head unit, and then I had to basically start playing something on the phone while I still have the Android Auto screen on. Then I had to hit the home button, and then go to all apps HDMI and then it paused and then I had to hit play again on the phone but once you hit play again on the phone then it kind of brings you back to the home screen on here so I kind of had to like fight with this a few times to get it working so now it's playing there's audio but you'll notice the orientation right so then I have to take the phone and switch the orientation one point I was able to get this working properly without switching the orientation. I think orientation is gonna be an issue, unless it's just something I don't know about with Samsung. There might be a setting I'm just not aware of, but a little bit of playing around to get it working, but at least there is a way to get that HDMI flush mounted and nice and clean just using a U-Green adapter to go micro HDMI male to female. And then I'm using an install bay ethereal HDMI cable and I'm using an Anchor USB-C to HDMI. Now I am gonna see how it works with Apple. All right, so I have my iPhone connected just using the standard Apple Lightning digital AV adapter. I have picture, but I don't have audio. I probably need to connect to wireless CarPlay in order to get audio. Let me do that. All right, so I've got wireless Apple CarPlay connected. I'm gonna go ahead and open up something on YouTube. I don't know if this is gonna work. I had this issue with Alpine. It shows that it's connected to AirPlay. Go home. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's connected, but it just froze. I guess it is working. Interesting. Let's try another video. Connecting. Hello everyone and welcome. Yes, it does work. Okay, cool. Alright, so just to recap, if you are interested in using the Sony XAV AX6000 and the HDMI input and you want to make it look clean in the car, you can use an HDMI micro male to female along with an HDMI male to flush mount female with your standard HDMI male to male, along with your phone appropriate adapter, whether that be your Apple Lightning Digital AV adapter, HDMI to Lightning, or HDMI to USB-C for your Samsung. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, such as a full in-depth review on the XAV AX6000, which is coming soon, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will know the next time that I post. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.